welcome or welcome back to The Deep Perspective. I'm Georgia. And I'm Elise. And this is Harry. <laughs> the love of our life. The love of our life. Um, in this week's video, what yeah. are we doing? Do I just want to explain? This week's video, we are, you know you see the old TBR jar, oh, yeah. pick my reads. Um, we don't have time to actually bother making a TBR jar. So, we are going to pick a prompt from this. There's a spinner wheel or pick a card. We'll go and pick okay. a card. So we're going to pick our March TBR. Now, if you know us, you know that we are mood readers. So this could yeah. go quite wrong. This could go quite bad. But, but we'll, hey ho. We'll do three books. Better the devil you know. Three books each? Yeah, do three books each. Um, so, yeah, we'll pick three books each. Um, we'll pick three cards I'm never going to get around to And then... Boys have told me now why I just keep making you do these stupid TBR videos. Well, you don't know because you don't know what's going to come up. It's a prompt. It's not like a oh, random okay, book. Okay, okay. It's just a prompt. So this one is based on prompts, so it could basically be like, you know, a blue cover okay. or like a title yeah. like with a number okay. or like chapters and like titles instead of chapter numbers, stuff like that. Perfect. So um, Georgia will be able to pick hers because we're at hers. Yeah. If mine are ones that I can't figure out on the top of my head whether or not they're chapter names or not, I'll just insert my clips after. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, right, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, why not? What do I do? Just pick just, one. Yeah, pick a random card. Award Ooh. winner! Do I have anything? We'll have to do Google. Yeah, we'll have to Google. Let's let's come back to that. <laughs> now, is this for both of us? No, this is for you. Okay. So you get three books and <gasps> I'll get three books. Guys, this is so fun. I might have to go and buy another book. <laughs> Don't tip me. Under oh. oh, I have. Have one. you got one? Yeah, I do have one. So the second one was under two hundred and fifty pages. It's bloody Tessa Bailey though again. <laughs> Sorry. That's a nice one though, because I could probably That's read that it. in like an afternoon. Yeah. Last one. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one for you. <gasps> that is a good one. A genre you don't normally read. Right. Let's do choices. Ooh. A book that ends in an odd number of pages. Oh. <laughs> so I pick up Magnolia Fox. Okay, fun. Okay, so that one I'm probably going to have to wait until I'm going to have to pick them, aren't I? Mm-hmm. A book that ends in an odd number of pages. That's going to be quite hard. That is. That's quite specific. Oh, no, you could have literally read this. This is 709. No, 708. 708, yeah. Right. Mm. Oh, an Ooh. author's debut novel. This is fun. <laughs> I hate this idea. I'm just a mood reader. I'm a big fat mood reader. Yeah, but picking three is not that bad. Published, published in the, the last, last year. year. No, I didn't want to Published in the last year. <laughs> I literally like this. <laughs> so I might go upstairs and have a route round my books and see if I can pick any out. You can even see if you can pick any out. Okay, so I'm going to go upstairs, pick my books. You can come with us if you want. Yeah, we'll bring them with you. We can come with, with us. And then, um, yeah, let's get this March TBR underway. Okay, so I need one that's <laughs> under 250 pages. Yeah, that's your first one. That's probably the easiest one to pick, isn't it? This is... Oh. <gasps> no, it's no, over. No, it's over. Is that your shortest book? Yeah. What about the setup? Oh, the epilogue is 26... Oh, it's 263. It's just over. No, this looks... This looks... Yeah, it's too much. <gasps> This is not going well so far, kids. Um, I have this novella, but I've read it already. So you can't I read can't it then? I can't read it again. Jesus Christ, I hated it the first time. Um, right, let's see. The Roanoke Girls? No, that's more, I think. Or is it? Ooh. Yeah, it's more. It is two... 260. No, 269. Okay, so I'm going to have to download something on my Kindle yeah. that's under that. Any books that are like... Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I could check, but I don't think so. 250 is quite like... Small. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, so your next one was... I honestly thought that this one was going to sort me out on that. Yeah. No, I didn't. You do read I that. Normally read that. <laughs> I think I am going to read... Okay, so update. I have... 
don't have a book that's under 250 pages so i'm gonna have to do some research and get back to you guys on that one the second one is an award-winning book so i am going to download the hunger games because i've just read ballad of songbird and snakes which is the prequel to yeah. the hunger games so i suppose that would make sense for me to read the hunger games which is an award-winning book which i want to read anyway so win-win for me um and i think i'm gonna read oh outside of your normal genre outside of my normal genre this is a thriller Elisa's read this. Yeah. Did you, say, you said it wasn't that great, didn't you? Yeah, but I read thrillers all the time. Yeah. But you might enjoy it because I did enjoy the, like, courtroom aspect of it. Yeah, so it's about a courtroom and it's called The Interpreter and it says the most dangerous person in the courtroom isn't the killer. So, let's go with that. I just need to, I'll get back to you guys on a book that's under 200 yeah. pages. Which I quite like because I can get that done quite quick. Okay, so, tell. oh, this lighting's really nice. Tell us your book picks. Uh, well, the other one's downstairs. Yeah. Um, so, the... What did I say? Debut novel is going to be One Dot Window. I'm yeah. so excited for you to read that. Which Georgia gave me because she's just read it. Mm -hmm. um, so excited. Then my book published last year is going to be Divine Rivals. Yeah. Which again, have wanted to read for a very long You've time. You've got fantasy heavy. I know. Three fantasy books. Yeah. I'm reading fourth way. Oh my gosh, she's a fantasy queen, guys. <laughs> she's a fantasy queen. Um, All the, I need to love this thriller book now and start reading thrillers and then we've literally swapped <laughs> swap places. places. And then my book that ends in an odd page number is The Prison Healer. Woo! Which, um, it's actually George's copy as well, but we both wanted to read this. Yeah. So instead of actually going through it. anything on my own TBR, yeah. I've basically she's just, just done George's. Done mine. <laughs> which is fine. We love that for us. Right, we're, we're spinning again. We're Georgia. spinning again because 250 pages is... Oh, what's happened to my Kindle? Two, oh, it's on dark mode. Um, 250 pages is not... It was quite a hard one, actually. To be fair. Yeah. And, and like, a lot of them were like classics you read at school. Oh, like God. of Mice and Men. And Guys, stuff like listen, that. if you are into that, then good for you lot, but I ain't. Um, right, she's picking again. <laughs> one word title. I don't know why I went like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know why I went like that. One word title. I would say never. Yeah, but you can't do that one. One word. You must have other ones in your TBR that are one word. Okay, TBC, guys. TBC again. Yellow face. Oh, yeah. I could read yellow face. I could read yellow face. <gasps> Caravel. Caravel. I've got it here if you want it. <gasps> yeah, please. Yeah. Yay! We're doing a book swap. So we're both only missing a book. No, I'm one not. One dark window. Oh, you're not. I am, but... I've got a Hunger Games on my Kindle. Okay, so we've done it. We've okay. It's our March TV. So, just to, just to quickly recap, I'm reading an award-winning book, yep. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Have it on my Kindle. I'm reading a one-word title, but with one word in the title, Carable by Stephanie Gerber. I am reading a book outside of my normal genre. As we all know, I'm a scaredy cat, so I'm reading a thriller. Ooh, sleepless nights for me. <laughs> and my three were published in the last year, so I've gone with Divine Rivals. Uh, an odd number of ends on an odd number of pages, which is The Prison Healer. How many pages is that? Four, eight, four something, wasn't it? Four, eight, four, seven, four, eight, three. Three. Four, eight, three. 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 And then my last one, which was a debut novel, is going to be One, one Dark Window. Window, which Elise does have on her yes. TBR. She just didn't bring it with me to my place of residence. So we will um, do a reading vlog. Yeah, they'll be in our reading vlogs, but we yeah. just thought this was a fun way to pick our TBR. Yeah, vlog. can't wait. I've got some exciting reads. This TBR, my mum picks, didn't go well for me. This, this has gone well. Yeah, this, I think this is exciting. Mine yeah. are very fantasy heavy. You're very fantasy heavy. And I'm, that's okay. I'm going to try and read this one first, I think. Unless it slumps me out. I don't think it will. It's quite fast. Yeah. Like, it starts off quite strong. Okay, fantastic. So, so I read this in our 24-hour readers on, by the way. If you okay. haven't seen that, then go watch that. Reason. So, thank you. This, These are our... March. March. Are we that far yeah, into I know. Yeah. March TBR yeah. here. March TBR. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell your friend about us. And I love that. That new little. <laughs> tell your friends about us. Tell all your friends tell about us. Tell all your friends. We would like to do this yeah. more than just as a podcast. If you're family. if you're not like us and you've literally got one friend. <laughs> so if you are like us and you've got one friend, 
Tell that one friend. Yeah. And then get them to tell their mum. Yeah. <laughs> Two friends. <laughs> um, and we'll see you in the next Thank one. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.